What are fine tuning large language models? Fine tuning is the process of adapting a pre trained language model to perform a specific task or to better understand a particular domain. It involves training the model on a smaller domain specific data set, allowing it to adjust its weights and biases to improve performance in that area while retaining the general knowledge gained during pre training. How is it different from pre-training large language models? Pre-training is the initial stage where a model learns general language terms from a large, diverse corpus without any specific task in mind. Fine-tuning, on the other hand, refines this pre-trained model by exposing it to a more targeted data set. Pre-training is computationally heavy and lengthy, phase spaces that can, while fine-tuning is typically faster and requires less computational power since it focuses on a specific use case or task. When should I fine-tune large language models? A fine tuning is appropriate when you need to perform specific tasks with accurate or adapt to specialized knowledge such as legal, medical or customer service contexts, spaces that can. It's also useful when you need to align the model's outputs with particular guidelines or stylistic preferences. How is it different from the RAG framework? The RAI Retrieval Augmented Generation Framework combines retrieval with generation. It retrieves relevant information from an external source and like a database or document set at runtime to inform the generated response. Fine tuning, however, updates the model's internal parameters and knowledge permanently. RAG is ideal for situations requiring current or extensive external knowledge, while fine tuning is more suited for stable domain specific expertise. When to use fine tuning over RAG? Fine tuning is preferred when you need the model to have a strong, consistent grasp of specialized or proprietary knowledge that doesn't change often. A RAG is better for applications needing up to date information or access to a large knowledge based beyond the model's internal parameters. How much data is required for fine tuning language models and samples? A, there is the amount of data depends on the complexity of the task. For simple tasks, a few hundred to a few thousand examples might suffice. More complex tasks or domain specific fine tuning might require tens of thousands of samples. However, high quality representative samples often outperform larger but noisier data sets. What are some libraries for fine tuning large language models? Popular libraries for fine in tuning include Jing Face Transformers, PyTorch Lightning, DeepSpeed Unsloth, and TensorFlow. LoRa, low rank adaptation, and Quora are specialized methods that many frameworks support, offering efficient fine tuning. How to chapel check whether the model has improved after fine tuning? After fine tuning, evaluate the model using relevant metrics such as accuracy, F1 score or BLEU depending on the task. Additionally, human evaluation and task specific benchmarks help assess practical improvements. Comparing the model's performance against a baseline such as the pre-trained version can also highlight gains. What is LoRa and Clara? LoRa's low rank adaptation is a method that fine tunes large language models by adding low rank matrices to the model's weights, allowing for efficient training without updating all parameters. Clora combines LoRa with quantization to reduce memory use and improve efficiency, making it possible to fine tune large models on consumer GPUs.
Why should lower be preferred over traditional fine tuning? Lower is preferred because it is parameter efficient and cost effective, requiring only a fraction of the computational resources. Hugging spaces can it reduces memory requirements and training time by focusing on low rank adaptations, making it ideal for large models and limited budgets. What hardware is required for fine tuning? Hardware requirements vary by model size. Small models can be fine tuned on a single GPU such as an NVIDIA RTX 3090. While larger models, billions of parameters require multi-GU setups or high memory GPUs GA100. For extremely large models, TPUs or high memory cloud instances may be necessary, especially if training without optimizations like low range. What are some risks associated with fine tuning? Fine tuning can lead to overfitting on a specific data set, resulting in a loss of generalization. There's all gene spaces. There is also the risk of catastrophic forgetting, where the model loses knowledge from the pre trained phase. Additionally, spaces that can fine tuning biased or low quality data can introduce or amplify harmful biases in the model's output. How can one manage and reduce the cost of fine tuning large language models? Use methods like LORE, LORA, and quantization to lower memory and compute needs. Another strategy is to use smaller batch sizes or leverage cloud services that offer spot instances. Uh, selecting efficient architectures such as distilled models and using fewer epochs for initial testing can also keep costs down. Can you use synthetic data fine tuning large language models? And if so, how effective is it? Yes, synthetic data can be effective. It closely represents the target domain and is of high quality. It's often used when labeled data is scarce. However, using a mix of synthetic and real data can yield the best results, as synthetic data alone may introduce noise if not carefully curated. Can, can fine tuning be applied to multimodal models? If so, how? Yes, fine tuning can be applied to multimodal models such as that process text and images by training on multimodal datasets that contain aligned text and image pairs. Libraries like Hugging Faces Transformer support multiple models at G, CLIP DLE with specialized layers that process each input modality before merging for downstream tasks 